Congratulations to Nigeria. Congratulations to Lagos. Congratulations to Dr. Alenko Dangote as we launch the first PMS third week of July 2024. And congratulations to real estate investor in the corridor of Ibejuleki for all investors who owns property within this axis of Dangote refineries and for all prospective client who still desire to own something within the corridor of Ibejuleki. Let's hear what the Alenko Dangote has to say concerning this third coming week of the launching of PMS. We shall be right back. The crews that we are receiving, so that you know, because sometimes you can buy a crude and then people can give you the one that has a lot of metals or a lot of sulfur. Uh, but the most important is this: that because we know, mainly West Africa, is a home for dumped bad fuel, bad petroleum products. So we have the most updated lab. This lab you cannot even find it in Saudi Aramco, because we, are, we have the latest and we can actually test anything, be it aviation fuel, diesel, uh, you know, uh, gasoline. We can test everything, kerosene. And it will give you actual time. The longest test here will take you only 30 minutes. And you have the result automatically, you know, coming into the system. So this will actually stop arguments. You know, like us now as a company, uh, don't go to cement because we use a lot of diesel. We use about 50 million uh, liters every month. So 50 million to run our mines, or run our trucks, and co. it means that 50 million liters is like one day's consumption of Nigeria. That's what we use. But we import everything 100%. But all of it, we have to now go and specify what we need. We cannot get it from Lomi because that Lomi one is not a good quality. Okay, so I'm aware that, for instance, the Kaduna refinery or the Potako refinery have different specs in terms of build. Uh, one can can crack um, harder crude like the ones from Venezuela and the ones from Portacot can do the light crude, which is uh, Nigeria's crude, uh, which this is into bit bitumen and all of that. And you had always said that this is going to pr produce Euro 5 quality in terms of especially uh, petrol. Uh, are we still in line with what you're doing with this um, laboratory here to ensure that Euro 5 quality from Nigeria, off Nigeria, into the global market? I think, uh, you know, what we are doing is to be able to export our petroleum products to anywhere and compete with any company. Uh, by next week, we'll be producing less than even about 10 ppm in terms of, uh, you know, diesel, which now what is happening in the market is that you import about 2,000, 3,000. So uh, we will produce the best anybody can produce. I understand you have um, two products already, which is AG1 and JT1. When are we to start going to see um, PMS out there? When are you pushing them? PMS, we, it will start coming out by, we had a bit of delay, but it will start coming out by 10th, 15th of, uh, you know, July. But then, you know, we want to keep it in the tank to make sure that it settles. By third week of July, we'll be able to take it into the market. Okay. By middle of July. I won't let the uh, His Excellency um, leave without saying the words. First of all, this, um, the landlord who has accompanied. You must be a very proud landlord at this point uh, because this is coming out of Lagos and the um, Bible says uh, you're the first partaker of the first fruit. Well, thank you. And that's why I need yes. to also thank I'm coming to you. Yes, um, all of them. But to really um, commend um, the initiative and the vision you know, of, of this whole complex. I've been here several, several times, and each time it just marvels, you know, one's mind and heart as into the power of possibility. You know, it's not just, it wasn't just a dream, you know, on the shelf. It's reality, it's put on the ground. And so for me, it's the economic, you know, um, independence that will give not only um, Dangote Refinery, but all of the businesses around and the country in whole. So when we talk about economic development, you know, Social economic development this is what you see, and I'm happy that we've seen young Nigerians, you know, being taking us right around some of these facilities. And over time, they'll become not just industry experts, they'll become world experts, you know. But the bottom line is that, you know, all of the possible spin offs we've not even seen anything already. There'll be loads and loads of spin off businesses, 
you know, um, 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 spin off companies that are going to leave off this, this facility. And so for the next half a century, we'll still be, you know, we'll still be thankful of this very big vision that we have here. You know, and for me, um, it's not about Lagos, it's about our country. You know, it's about, you know, um, where, you know, we all believe, you know, should be the right thing to do. And like I keep saying, you know, Lalaji took the right step and we're indeed happy and excited that it's taking it and it's taking it very seriously. Your Excellency, 650,000 barrels a day. That's what this um, refinery is pressed because you are, you've come at almost at the completion stage and the products are already coming out. Well, for me, just to say congratulations, not just to Aligo Dangote, GCON, not just to the governor of Lagos State, my brother Sam Olu, that this is happening in his time. And I, I would like to congratulate the president of Nigeria, who himself laid the foundation for the industrial growth of Lagos, and congratulate all Nigerians for what we are seeing here today. But his uh, adherence to quality is what impresses me. The laboratories I've seen here, and even the explanation from the social media, that Belgium has finally realized the need to ban the, uh, the exposition of bad fuel from their country to Nigeria to West Africa as a whole. And then the linkage between the bad fuel that we inhale and also the cancer, the prevalence of cancer, not just in Lagos, but in the country. Total eye-opener. And I'm, I just want to say may the souls of all those who died as a result of West Africa being a dumping ground for European fuel that they couldn't consume in their country, rest in peace. And I want to thank Aliko Dangote for what you are doing. You are saving the future. And Nigerians will forever remain. Thank you. 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 Thank you.